Hi guys. I'm going to show you how I create mappings for BRSO Articulate. If you're not aware when you open the plugin, you can click here and you can choose a text file and open up the piano roll. You'll see that the piano roll has lots of handy little names that tell you what each of the individual notes do. Now, creating one of these files isn't that simple, and I'm going to show you how I do this. To do it like me, you're going to need a spreadsheet. I'm going to do it in OpenOffice because OpenOffice is free and anyone can download it, but you can do the same thing in Excel as well. So here we have a blank worksheet. And I'm going to start by creating an index which correspond to the MIDI note numbers from 0 to 131, because we need to have 132 notes for the 11 octaves in the piano roll. And I'm going to use the spreadsheet's built-in fill down function to save me from having to type in these 132 numbers by hand. So I'm going to enter 0 in the first cell, and then in the next cell you want to enter equals A1 plus 1. A1 refers to cell A1, which contains 0, and now you're adding 1 to that value. Now you want to apply this to the next 130 cells, so to do this, select those cells, press Alt E I D to use the fill down function. And as you can see, we filled in the numbers for the 132 notes in the piano roll. These numbers, as I said, correspond to the MIDI note numbers that we are defining the names that appear in the piano roll for. Now, if you're lucky, your software will have a manual which contains the key mappings and it will tell you the MIDI note number and what the corresponding key switch or sample is. I'm doing this for Abbey Road and the Abbey Road manual has a reference at the back and as you can see here, for example, the dampened kick is note 36. So we want to enter this for note 36 in the spreadsheet. That's why we have this index. So I'm going to save you the hassle of watching me actually fill in the data, as I'm going to copy and paste it from one I prepared earlier. And there we have it. Now BRSO Articulate expects the note names to be in the same order as they're displayed in the piano roll that is from high note to low note. That means we need to have the value for note 132 be at the top of our list. So we need to reverse the order. Now before we can do that, I need to convert the numbers in column A to real numbers instead of using formulas. And there's a very easy way to do this with the following shortcuts. Select the column, press Ctrl C, then press Control shift v which is Paste Special. Now what this really just means is you can choose what data you want to paste. And as long as you have formulas not selected and you have numbers selected, you're going to replace the formulas with numbers. So now the entry in A2 is no longer A1 plus 1, but the actual number 1. So that's great. Now we can sort everything. Control A selects everything. Choose data sort and choose column A containing the note numbers as your sort criteria. Change the sort order to descending order so it goes from high note to low note. We now have the list of samples in the order BRSO Articulate expects them in. Before we can use it, we still need to delete the note numbers because we don't want those being displayed in the piano roll. I'm now going to save my spreadsheet and I recommend you do the same thing because we're going to start deleting things and we don't want to suddenly find we have to do everything again. Now, right click on the column header of column A and select delete columns from the menu. Once you've deleted the column, choose save as, choose text CSV, Enter a meaningful name, I suggest going with the name of your plugin or library, and change the file ending to txt for text. I'm going to just click on accept on all these dialogues. So let's go back to FL Studio. I've deleted the old file, and let's load the new one.
And there we have it. You can see the note names in the piano roll. I hope that helped you. I'll see you next time. Bye.